Stefano Maria Legnani, called Legnanino, 1661-1713. This short documentary, which also shows rare historical images, is made to be a celebration of a painter, whose family was from Saranno, in honor of his 300th death anniversary. We will present especially his works placed in Saranno Library, owned by Saranno's municipality. These works are composed by four huge paintings, which show Arianna and Becker's famous myth, Casa Morandi's oil paintings. Probably about 1700, Stefano painted the four paintings that ignored Palazzo Calderara Brambilla's saloon in Torino Avenue, Milan. The pieces of art were made by the artist in his prime of life. The building was terribly bombed during the Second World War, but luckily the four paintings were rescued. Sorano's municipality bought them in 1987, and after an educated restoration, they were placed in the Civic Library's reading room. The two bigger paintings are 10 meters wide, while the others are 7.6 meters wide, and they're all 1.8 meters tall. The cycle shows, in four continuous sequences, Bacchus and Ariana's mythological story, taken back from the eighth book of Ovidius' Metamorphosis. The first picture shows Ariana sleeping, left by the hero Theseus. In the second painting, Bacchus sees the girl on Nassau Island. In the third one, Bacchus asks Venus the permission to marry the girl. And in the last one, is painted Bacchus and Ariana's wedding, with Venus and Eros attending. The drawings are graceful, and are painted with a sparkling chromaticism typical of Legnani's palette. Bacchus and Ariana Smith. Ariana and Theseus Smith is told in different versions. Some say that Ariana fell in love with Theseus when he got to Creta to kill the Minotaur in the maze. Ariana gave Theseus a long wool ball in order to mark the way he went long into the maze and to get out easily. Later Ariana expatiated with him and the other Athenians towards Athens. 
But Theseus made her sleep in order to abandon her on Nassau Island, even called Dia. Anyway, during their secret passions, Ariana conceived two children, Demofonte and Staphylo. In the second version, Ariana, waking up, saw Theseus' ship getting further. But the pain of abandonment was just brief, because suddenly Dionysus arrived on a wagon drawn by some panthers, and after meeting her, he wanted to marry her. According to another version of the god, it's self-imposed. Questo detto male. Riparto da accordi. According to another version, the god itself imposed to Theseus to abandon Arianna to let him marry her. The result of the love between Arianna and Dionysus were four children, Toante, Staphilo, Enopione and Pepareto. For the weddings, Dionysus gave to Arianna a tiara made by Hephaestus, which launched in the sky created the Corona Borealis constellation. The various versions have in common Theseus' mean behavior, which appears unexplainable. That might lead to the possibility that a huge part of the myth has been lost. Biographical information. He was born on the 6th of April, 1661. His father Ambrogio and his granddad Thomas were both painters. In 1681, he was in Bologna at Cignani's workshop. In 1686, he was in Rome as Maratta's pupil. In 1687, he painted the Virgin's Coronation in St. Angel's Church in Milan. In 1690, he worked in Monza's Cathedral. In 1691, he did several paintings such as L'Apparizione dell'Angelo a Santa Elisabetta e Imposizione nel nome di Giovanni at Saronno's Sanctuary. He painted then Prepositurale dei Santissimi Pietro e Paolo and Sant'Ambrogio's painting in Uboldo together with Santissimi Cosma and Damiano. In 1692 he painted San Gaudenzio in Novara. In 1694 he painted the Dome Vault of Bankers and Merchants Chapel in Turin. In 1696 he worked for Palazzo Carignano in Turin. In 1697, he painted the frescoes in St. Jack's Chapel in Saronno. In 1698, he worked at Chiesa del Incoronata in Lodi. In 1700, he did a huge painting to represent his Bancus and Ariana's stories in Milano at Casa Calderara. 
1702, he was still painting at Palazzo Carignano in Turin. In 1707, he painted for Turin Palla della Vittoria. Between 1708 and 1710, he painted a door of Serrano's sanctuary tabernacle. In 1712, according to Ratti, Stefano was working in Genoa at St. Philip's Church. In 1713, he died in Milan, and on the 4th of May, he was buried in St. Enzo's Church.